What's up guys, it's Embers Golf. We're back at the simulator. Gonna be doing another ball review for you today. You guys know me, I'm Tate. We got the crocodile here. We're here crocodile. in the sim He's colder and comfy, man. <laughs> I just did a fireplace review and my jeans were too tight, so I had to change yeah. into something more, a little more flexible. Yeah, well, in a couple videos ago, I said it was uh, Kobe's, comment, Kobe's quote, but it's not, it's the big uh, prime time. If you look good, you feel good, you feel good, you play good, so. Yeah, what are we doing today? That's today. One of the most sought after requested videos, we're gonna be putting this ball in the simulator to see the details, to see the numbers, to see if it can perform. We're gonna test it against the Pro V1. Why against the Pro V1, Tate? We got a custom Pro V1. Pro V1's the number one ball in golf, brother. According to this sleeve right here, number one ball in golf. And it's the most popular ball on tour. I would say it's sort of the gold standard, so we always use test against Pro V1s as our baseline or Pro V1X, depending. But the, the Kirkland is the most comparable, the Performance Plus, to the Pro V1. The base grade. Yeah, the Kirkland's got the three layers, the Pro V1's got the three layers. It wouldn't go against the Pro V1X because the Pro V1X has four layers. So yep. the Pro V1 is going to be the most apples to apples. Let's see if it performs. Let's see if it's worth saving the money. Only one way to do that. Got to look at the numbers. Look at the data. All right, let's roll. Okay, obviously the Pro V, I think it goes out saying the Pro V is sexier. Like it's just a sexier ball to play. But a dozen Pro V1s cost 50 bucks. Two dozen, two dozen Kirklands cost 30. So it's literally more. Like double the balls and $20 less. Sounds like a good deal to me. What am I starting with? You are hitting the Pro V1. Pro V. Okay, don't forget if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, subscribe to our channel, come to our showroom, Get fitted for PXG or Mizuno clubs. Make sure to check out our barbecue channel. If you're and in Denver, you need some balls, you need some gloves, you need a new Mizuno hat. Come by, see us. So the way we do our ball testing is we do a 50 yard wedge, seven iron and driver. But on the 50 yard wedge, the number one ingredient we're looking for is what, Tate? Spin. Spin, stopping power. So 10 shots each. I'm just looking for good stopping power. That's in the hole. So the Pro V1, we're not really getting any surprises here. But what we gotta do is establish a st statistical baseline. That one's gonna check. Gotta get down. Check ball. I got on the 12s, white and suede. I don't know, caramel, I guess you call them. We're not good enough. We're not good enough to, we're amateurs. So this is an amateur review. There's some fatties in there. There's some thinnies in there. But what we're looking at is the overall average. And uh, I'm not good enough to just eyeball test the difference. I have to rely on the data because they both feel they both feel good yeah. so far. Okay, let's look at the, the data, Tate. So what I'm looking for is launch angle. We want a higher launch angle and the most amount of backspin. So we got Costco here. We'll look at ball speed, launch angle, and Backspin. Ball speed with the Costco was 48 miles an hour. Ball speed with Pro V1 was 49.2. Launch angle 34.9, 34.9. Had more backspin with the Costco ball, 7300, 7184. There wasn't really a lot of misses in there, so that should be pretty accurate. So 47 yard carry with a 49 yard total. Man, as a 50 yard shot and my average is 49, I'm dialed in on that number. Costco is 45 and 47, so. <sighs> The end result, I mean, closer to the target line is the Pro V1, but the backspin is better. You know what that tells me though, just by looking at that, if the backspin's better at the Costco, with the Costco, but it's stopped faster with the Pro V1, the Pro V1 is a softer ball. Must be. It's gotta be. It's gotta be softer. Yeah. When we look here, we got the Costco pulled up. The Costco had 7,200 RPMs, backspin, 
48 carries, 51 total, so rolled out about three yards with 7,200. The Pro V1. 30 degree launch angle. Yeah, Pro V1 I had 7,400 RPMs. So higher. Yeah. And a much higher launch angle. Third, you had four degree higher launch angle. Yeah, you got to get that bubble out of your throat. <clears throat> but you had 45 and 48. 45 so you had and 48, and on the Costco, 48 and 51. So three yard run out. So, so far, I had better spin on the Pro V1. Rollout was about the same. So, same thing for me. $2 a ball, I'm not seeing it. At 50 yards, I'm not seeing the difference. 50 yards so far is there's, there's not worth the extra money. Okay, now we'll As an amateur. Yeah. All right, seven iron. Oh my gosh. Have you ever seen the other guys? Yeah. Kind of reminds me of like Gator. We should call him Gator. Yeah, Gator needs his gas. <laughs> Alright, there's my five shots. And we're back. That's not fat. Oh. In the garage, but it's not in the garage. All right, Kirkland time. Ooh, that's the way it started. Pull. Pull city. That one's right. All right, look at this. Now this, this is surprising because the wedge play was almost no difference. Yeah. But look at this. Ball speed on the Costco, 111 miles per hour. On the Pro V1, 122. 10 miles an hour, holy cow. And on a seven iron, this is where distance comes into play. We need it, but we still want good stopping power. But look at the Pro V, the Costco had 5,100 RPMs versus 47. So not a huge difference, but a little bit. But look at this, holy cow. Costco ball, carried 162, finished 183. So that's a difference of 19 yards or 21 yards. Yeah, 21 yards. So before, but look at this, 193 with the Pro V1 and 211. So less run out and further, by far so better, Trevor, by far. down, which one wins this? Easily Pro V1. Yeah, easily. Easily. Now, just to, just so you know, that, that 211 number, people, people don't hit a seven iron 211, and I don't either, but we set this at 5,500 feet for elevation. But also, we just reviewed these uh, Hot Metal Pros by uh, Mizuno, and these things are, I'm not joking, they're rocket launchers. Like, they're literally rocket launchers. Something about it, they're adding 10 to 15 yards and you can feel it. It's not just the simulator, you can feel it. Yes. They're monster clubs, which we, we're gonna do a review on, so stay tuned for that. All right, let's look at your data, Tate. Okay, so probably 150 mile an hour ball speed, 4,700 backspin, 168 carry, 193 finish, 115 ball speed, and almost identical. So more, more spin again, just the same with Trevor, more spin with the Kirkland. 168 to 193. So for me, it's still, Still half and half? Yeah. That, the Titleist stopped faster. Again, the Titleist stopped faster with less backspin, stopped faster. All right, we better hit our driver shots. Let's hit our drivers. Still a good shot. Last one, all been perfect. Oh, well done. those are five good drives right there. You got one more, is that it? All right, Pro V1 time, baby. Oh. 
Oh, I love this club. So we're gonna the Costco. We got ball speed 145. Ball speed with Pro V1 148, so three miles an hour faster. Less side spin with the Pro V, which is important with the driver. Let's look at our carry. Wow, look at this. 243 yards with the Pro V1, 271 carry. I mean finish. 239, 265. So six yards further with the Pro V1. So essentially with the Wedge play, identical. Seven iron, extra four or five yards carry. Driver, an extra four or five yards carry. Is that gonna re reduce strokes on the golf course? Probably not. I, honestly, I think you would be better off playing the Pro V. Yeah, maybe. We'll see what my, so far my- All right, let's check your difference. stats. Yours has. Let's check your stats. Okay, so for here, look at Costco 152 ball speed, 645 RPMs to the right. 256 carry, 280 finish, that's not bad. That's a solid drive, my Costco there. Let's scroll down and see if the Pro V1 made a big difference. 159, wow. speed, so eight miles an hour faster. 616 to the right, so not a whole lot of difference in size spin. 263 carry, 289 finish in nine yards, 10 yard difference. 10 yard difference, that's a big difference. So the feedback that I've seen so far on YouTube is that you viewers at home would pay the extra money for the yardage. But we're amateurs. I'm a 15 handicap, he's a 10 handicap. And it makes, the ball makes a difference. It does. It makes a difference. Yeah. So if I gain 10 yards off the tee box, and I'm a, it's a difference between a nine iron and a pitching wedge, chances are that's gonna improve my... Uh, Statistically, you're probably better, out of 10 shots, your pitching wedge is gonna be better than your nine iron. Of course. Time. The lower the club, the better you're going to be. Yeah. So, so if strokes are are key to you, and you're going out a weekend warrior, you're going out battling for as low a score as you can get. I think it does make a difference. It does. Now, if you're buying your husband a couple of sets of Kirkland balls because he goes out three times a year, weekend with his warrior, buddies, weekend yeah. warrior. I don't think it's going to make a difference. He's going to drain a sixer on the golf course. Then yeah. who cares? And you're losing three or four of these on each tee box. The who Kirkland, cares? It's a great ball for being the price and the amount of balls you get for the $30. If you're a weekend warrior, game improvement, or not game improvement, but you're just looking to just have fun on the weekends, just buy the Kirklands. Yeah, and let me tell you real quick, if you're up against the Kirkland or the 24 pack of Nitros at Walmart, oh. get the Kirklands. Oh. Get the Kirklands every time. Kirklands perform good. Any other budget ball, the Kirkland wins. This is better than the Noodle, it's better than your Max Fly, your Top Flight. But well, I, I have a confession. I gotta tell you something. Yeah. Even if the Kirkland performed better. You're not rolling up. I'm not playing it. Ball. I'm not playing a Kirkland ball. I'm just not. Would you play a Kirkland ball? No. Nope. <laughs> That's what I thought. Like, I'm just not playing it. I don't know why, it just doesn't sit right with me. Like, I feel like they're undercutting the, the, the guys that put in the time and energy and the R&D into the golf industry. Yeah. But it's an exceptional golf ball at an exceptional price. For what it is. It's phenomenal. For, for $30, 24 of these, it, it's better than any other budget ball. Unless you're on a luxury By ball. By far. TP5, Pro V1. Um, Chrome Soft. Chrome Soft, the Mizunos. Unless you're on a tour ball, the Kirkland is gonna beat out any of those. The yes. velocity, the title is velocity. If you're a weekend warrior and you're a uh, you know, triple digit scorer anyway, just play the Kirkland. Play the Kirkland, save some money. And, Save that $2 a ball and get yourself some more beers. But if you're looking to actually improve your handicap, I think the, Kir the Kirkland could handicap you. Yeah. See what I did there? Mm -hmm. I did, I liked it. Yeah. So anyways, that's our thoughts. The Pro V1 definitely was be a better ball. Um, not by a ton. Not by a ton. Maybe a few strokes, maybe two or three strokes around. Kirkland's a great ball for the money. By f I mean, no knock against it, but it's not a Pro V1. No. Great ball for the dollar. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah, let us know what to do next.